Hi everybody, Mark Goddard here. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to be able to run through, demonstrate and explain the recently published and formatted youth document for the rule set for the three developed age categories. The inaugural youth tournament will take place this August in Rome, Italy. As you will see on the document, we have developed a three-tier system working on age bands. The first being Youth A, which is 16 to 17 year old, under 18. We have Youth B, which is 14 to 15 year old, under 16. And we have Youth C, which is 12 to 13 year old, under 14. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate and show the permissible techniques for each age range. Okay, so now I would like to run through the permissible and non-permissible techniques for the IMAP Youth Tournament. Uh, something to stress and something to get across is that uh, on the website uh, and uh, obviously the people who are used to competing in IMAF uh, Unified Amateur Tournaments, in the rules document there is a list of 28 listed fouls. That will always be there and that will never change because a, a list of fouls actually stems and runs across any age range and any form of IMAF competition. 28 listed fouls in the rules document. Whether you are a junior, a senior or a youth competitor, that will never change. In addition to the 28 listed fouls, there is also a range of forbidden techniques. And again, like the listed fouls, no matter what the age range of the tournament you compete in, that will never change. If you don't have that document, it's readily available on the imaf.org website. There is no bone on bone contact, hence the athletes wearing shin and instep protectors and gloves. So in a standing position, if I clinch with my opponent, I am never allowed to knee anywhere towards the head. That is a forbidden technique. If I separate from the clinch, both elbow and forearm strikes are also forbidden to the head, face and body. So I cannot strike with the knee to the head and I'm never allowed to use the elbow or forearm to the head or body. Exactly the same in the grounded position as it is standing. Elbow and forearm strikes are strictly forbidden, both to the head and to the body. So in a grounded position, the use of the forearm to strike is not permissible. What I can do is take my arm from behind the head, place in front and under the chin to apply pressure. I'm just not allowed to use that forearm as any form of striking implement. So again, what's forbidden in any and all IMAF tournaments, if, I am if I'm permitted to attack the legs in an older age range category, the heel hook submission is never allowed. What is also forbidden across all age ranges of IMAF competition is anything deemed as applying pressure to the neck or spine. So a can opener from a closed guard is not a permitted technique. If I pass the guard to a side control position, again, attacks that are directly forcing pressure onto the neck and spine is forbidden. It is forbidden to be applying any pressure to the spine or neck. So a sit-through crucifix from a side control position is also a forbidden technique. First, we're gonna have a look at the Youth C age category which is 12 to 13 year old under 14 years of age in a standing position i can punch to the body i can kick to the body kick to the legs what is forbidden is any head or face contact whatsoever also in a clinching position I cannot knee to the body. Knees to the body are forbidden. I cannot foot stomp. So when we come to a clinching position in terms of taking my opponent down, when I clinch, 
Any form of inside or outside trip is permissible. If I'm intending to throw my opponent, what I'm looking for is both head and arm control. So if I step in for a hip toss, I must have both control of the head and the arm. I am not allowed to drag my opponent to the mat via his head alone. If I take my opponent's back standing, I can valley drop or tie a toshi. Legal technique. What I'm not allowed to do in a standing position is to elevate or slam my opponent. So if I'm looking to take him down, I'm doing it safely with inside outside trips or hip tossing only with both head and arm control. From a standing position, any double or single leg takedown is totally permissible. So again, what we're looking for from a safety perspective for a throw is for my opponent not to be elevated or leave the mat. So if we clinch and I see an aggie or shoulder throw, I'm looking to drop to the mat and allow a safe and simple rollover. So from a standing position, front kicks to the body, round kicks to the body, round kick to the legs, round kick to the arms. What is not allowed is a linear or oblique kick directly targeting the knee. What is also forbidden is a leg scissor takedown. In a grounded position, we have passed the guard to side control. We now move to a north-south position. We continue to work around the body, back to side control, and into a mounted position. All permissible and legal. I can take an armbar in youth C category 12 to 13 if we open a closed guard the emphasis and premise is now on passing that position so we pass into a more dominant position if we are in a closed guard position and we open that guard there will be no leg attacks permitted a forbidden technique in youth C is the omoplata submission. So if we snap our opponent's head down or get to a front headlock position, there is no guillotine chokes of any description. So I cannot sit through into a closed guard to apply a guillotine choke. From a grounded to a standing opponent, up kicks are forbidden. In a grounded position for youth category, 12 to 13, there shall be no grounded striking. For youth C, 12 to 13, in a, any grounded position, there shall be no striking to the body. It is positional only. In a grounded position or standing, there shall never be any wrist locks. There shall be no calf slicer or calf crush submission. From a grounded position, there shall be no bicep crush or slicer. From a standing position, there shall be no suplex or elevated throws. If a triangle or arm lock position submission is applied, there shall be no elevating the opponent to slam back to the mat. In a standing position, Kicks to the body shall remain legal. Front kick, round kick, spinning back kick. So in the youth B category, 14 to 15 year old, if I open the guard, I can legally sit back into a straight foot lock or Achilles crush. So here we are in youth B, 14 to 15 years of age. A permissible leg attack is the straight Achilles lock or I can have a Udigarami figure four foot lock. What I must have in this position is the leg in which the figure four is being applied to not be bent at the knee. So from an open guard position we can also figure four foot lock. 
So from a standing position, I front headlock or head snap. If I apply the guillotine choke, I'm looking for an arm in. Having a guillotine without an arm in is not permitted. So from a front turtle or a front headlock position, the anaconda is a permitted technique. I have both head and arm control. Conversely, from a rear or side mounted position of a turtled opponent, any DAS variation is also permitted. I again retain and keep both head and arm control. Okay, so here we have the eldest of the youth categories, that's youth A, 16 to 17 years of age, under 18. From a side control position, I am now permitted to strike to the body. Punches only. From a turtled position, I am now permitted to strike to the body. What I cannot do from a standing position is kick anywhere to a grounded opponent. Kicking to a grounded opponent across all youth ranges is a forbidden technique. In a standing position, a head snap or front headlock, what I'm not allowed to do is step in and lift my opponent for a standing guillotine finish. That is not a permitted technique. I do not want the opponents being lifted by the sole weight of their body. If I am to finish the guillotine, I'm going to close guard, take him to the ground, and finish from here. So unlike the youth 14 to 15 year old, youth B, in the youth A category, 16 to 7 year old, I can finish the guillotine with both arm in, or arm out variations. The only forbidden guillotine is from a standing finish. Close guard. Arm in. And arm out. The youth A 16 to 17 year old category from an open guard permissible leg attack shall be a straight footlock or Achilles crush I can transition to a knee bar and I can apply a figure four ankle lock a permissible submission across all youth categories is the rear naked choke. What we are looking for here is the safe application and the attacking opponent applying the submission in a controlled manner. The opponent who is having the submission applied will be expected to show a defense and escape immediately. What we cannot allow is a technical submission situation. If you are not showing me any defense or any form of escape, the referees shall be instructed to halt the match.